Hello, I'm Doug McKenzie and this is The Paytech Show. This episode, we're back with ACI Worldwide's Craig Ramsey, looking at SWIFT's Global Payment Initiative, or GPI. We're also joined by Phil Hong from Citibank, who are reaping the benefits from the cloud-based elements of GPI. Right now, a lot of institutions see using SWIFT GPI as mandatory. Uh, are we going to start seeing it become optional in the future? Well, I don't think so, actually. I think SWIFT will definitely be in this long term, and as they continue to innovate, we'll see them as front and centre of most cross-border transactions. I think what we will see is that choice again to consumers and banks will need to decide which services that they want to bring to their customers to offer to their customers and that's again where open banking actually comes into play a little bit if we are able to enable payment services through API technology to make it easier to offer this choice to corporations, then we'll see a much broader ecosystem. So SWIFT is absolutely going to be front and centre of that ecosystem for cross-border payments for years, if not decades to come. But there will be more choice available as well. What are some of the really exciting technologies and possibilities we're going to start seeing come about from using the cloud in the future? I think for City and our customers, um, what the cloud is starting to really help us achieve is to open up our transactional capabilities through application programming interfaces, not just for our customers to make use of themselves, but increasingly as they move into cloud-based applications with their software and vendor requirements. Uh, for example, the traditional ERP vendors, uh, as well as some of the treasury management systems that have grown up in the fintech space. These systems that our customers are using are increasingly being able to access our banking as a service type capabilities through the application programming interfaces or APIs that we are exposing. So can you tell me a bit more about Swift GPI and the cloud-based technology within that? Yes, I think it's been very interesting what Swift have done with uh, GPI, obviously something which uh, the banks have come together with SWIFT to create in order to uh, provide better servicing, better visibility of cross-border payments um, around the world for customers. And GPI has been a classic example really of um, how to build something in the cloud with all the different banks having to collaborate in order to update the status of payments as they flow through the banking network. Cloud-based technologies and APIs has been the way that, that GPI has ended up being implemented and I think it's been working extremely well. Excellent, and can you tell me a bit more about what that has done for City's customers? Our customers have really welcomed um, the fact that GPI is giving them real-time visibility of where their payments are. We've embraced the capability by um, adding it to um, our online banking interface on City Direct BE, something we call Payment Insights, that enables people to actually track where the payment is, very much like parcel tracking references when you send something via one of the delivery companies. But we're extending that concept not just to SWIFT payments, uh, because it's been so valuable to our customers and they've given us such positive feedback and reaction to it, we're trying to extend that now to all the different payment methods that, that we can execute for our customers. So what have been some of the benefits for institutions with the recent SWIFT GPI overlays, you know, Instant for instance? So we're now beginning to see GPI and Instant Payments starting to work together. We spoke about how GPI transactions might take 30 minutes or even just a few seconds in some places, but in some instant payment schemes, the UK, uh, TIPS in Europe, uh, NPP in Australia, there's been a, a, a specific move to support incoming GPI transactions into the country can then settle over a real-time scheme. So it's actually a cheaper way of, of settling the SWIFT transaction than traditionally going to the RTGS as well. So we're seeing that as a, as a move and a collaboration. And again, it, it all comes back to a philosophy that ACI strongly believes in, that this idea that a real-time payments hub can support not just your SWIFT traffic and your real-time traffic and your blockchain traffic, but also your traditional wires and ACH. And it should all be in a single hub to make that switching out of payments to different payment types easier. Thanks for joining us for another look at the SWIFT GPI. Be sure to check out our website for the rest of the series at www.fintech.finance for more. Ciao.